What's up guys? So as you can tell, this is a bit different of a vlog and I do apologize as I've been somewhat inconsistent in uploading lately and I'm gonna tell you why, but just so you know, that's not the purpose of this video. Oh, and by the way, my car is not actually uh, anything wrong with it. I'm heading out of town today to meet up with Justin from That Christian Vlogger. We're gonna shoot a video on overcoming burnout. So yeah, so as you've noticed, I've not been posting quite as regularly as I usually do. And that's because I work uh, three days a week here at the church, which is where we are right now. There's my beautiful wife, Jessica. I don't know that she's been on the channel. Have you been on the channel, That Bold Life? I don't think so. Well, there she is. So we actually work here um, together at the church, um, but I have three days a week I'm off, so I just started a part-time job working at uh, Napa here in town just to get a little bit of like supplemental income. So my schedule's all kind of messed up right now. I'm working like seven days a week. Um, so I'm trying to figure out when to record and I may just do more vlog style like this where you can follow me on my life and we incorporate a biblical message. Anyway, if you like that idea, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. I'll know that you guys at least approve, um, but I will try to do some more sit down biblical teaching videos. Make sure we get those out. The channel will go on. This is not the end. I'm just a little bit busier, but I'll make it work. All right? So guys, right now I am in uh, my auditorium. I'm sorry, there's poor, poor lighting, um, but I'm actually working on editing our podcast. Um, so if you like podcasts, you like to listen to podcasts, you should check it out. It's called GCC Talk, and it's actually our church podcast. I kind of host it, um, but we're the one I'm working on right now, we're talking about how to start reading your Bible. And so we have some tips from myself, from my wife, Jessica, um, from our women's ministry director, Teresa. Uh, so this is a really cool podcast. In the middle of editing right now, sounds like it's gonna be just killer. Um, so if you wanna check that out, check out GCC Talk. I'll make sure to link it down below. But listen, I don't want today's video to just be an update video. I actually want to talk a little bit about something that's been going on. As you might imagine, with taking on another job, life has got a lot more hectic and, and stress and anxiety have kind of kicked in. So how do you deal with that when that happens? All right, guys, to help me cover this topic, I got my buddy here, Justin, from hey guys. That Christian Vlogger. We actually just recorded two videos for his channel, really similar to this topic, talking about burnout, depression, uh, just that, that feeling of overwhelmness, right? Yeah, totally. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about stress, right? Mm -hmm. I, I just started a second job. Life's got kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Um, and so I've been kind of stressed out, and we wanna talk to you about how to overcome this kind of stress. So Justin, what would be a couple tips that you would have for us for overcoming stress, anxiety, burnout? Yeah. So oddly enough, I'm actually in a very similar position yeah. as you as well. I run my own YouTube channel yeah. uh, and I have another two contract jobs, and I, or actually I have three different contract jobs that I'm working through. Oh, wow. I travel around, I'm doing all kinds of other ministry things and my presence feeling is one of stress. Like man, right, I got so man. much to do. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it all. How do I Absolutely. do this? Yeah. So one of the, the, the biggest things that has helped me is to put out like a plan on paper. I, I actually use a whiteboard back at okay. home. Nice. And I would say uh, to have four different tiers uh, of what you need to do as far as goals. What is the, right. the, the, the long-term goal? Where do you want to be in five or 10 years? Right. That's the thing that you put at the top. Under that, okay, what do you need to be doing in the next one to two years to help you get there? Below that, what's the right. six month window? And then what is like the two to three, or two, two weeks to one month window of what you need to do. Right. And then plugging that in to, to, to help you get to your ultimate goal. Right. Anything that does not fit within that structure, right. it doesn't help you right. get to one of those four levels, cut it out. Right. And that's what I found is, is I'm actually doing more than what God has called me to do. Or I'm right. attempting to do more right. than what God has called me to do. Right. And yeah, when you put that much on yourself, right? If God's not called you to it, I mean, if, if you don't have that provision of God, right? Because if that's not what he's meaning for you to do, it's it's too much for you. Yeah, totally. Right? And anytime we go beyond what God has for us, I think it's too much for us. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, God has yeah. built in us a natural rhythm. Working right. six days, resting one. You know, this, this right. constant, like, 
go, 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 Gary yeah, V man. hustle style kind of thing. <laughs> right. Like, Maybe that's helpful in a pinch, but right. if that's your lifestyle, you're gonna be breaking down. Right, it's not sustainable. No, it's not, you, and so you, you gotta realize it. that. Like, it, yeah. you have to, if, if you're gonna go and burn the candle on both edges and in the middle at the same time, right? Man. you gotta realize that this is for a short time. There's an intended goal and outcome at the end of the tunnel. Right. Anything outside of like that, like it's, it's critical, like a uh, red alert, like we need to go. Right. Anything outside of that, if you're operating outside of that paradigm, like you're, you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be too stressed right. out and it's not going to be good. Right. Right. So your biggest suggestion is to find out your goals and then cut out everything that doesn't get you there. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, and this doesn't mean like there's other things that are auxiliary to right. it. Like, yeah. like I would never say that one of my goals is to have a hundred friends and therefore if I don't have any hangouts this week, I'm gonna cut them all out. Like, like that. Right. It's not like that. Like, yeah. but there are certain things that we might be trying to do professionally or from a hobby perspective that don't actually help us get there. Right. So we were talking earlier. We both like playing video games. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm trying to realize, like, listen, I got goals. I got things that I'm trying to do. Yeah. Not even just goals. Like, I have a calling in my life. Things right. that I believe God is wanting me to be doing. Yeah. How does video games play into that? Right. There's probably a place for it because there's R and R. Right. There's you know just you finding joy yeah. in life. We're talking about this on on my channel as well. Right. But at some point, you know, maybe past like you know the third or fourth hour in a day, right. like maybe That's you could, a little too much. Maybe you could trim that back a little bit. And yeah. I've, I'm having to learn that and say, you know what? The reality is, is I actually do got time. Right. It's how I use it. It's one of my it. priorities. And and maybe I'm spending too much time on things that don't actually matter. Right. Right. And and to to go off of that. I found, I'm constantly saying I don't have enough time, mm -hmm. um, but Apple just came out with this new update. Oh no, this is the worst update. Yes, yes, yes. The, the screen, screen time. Yes. <laughs> screen time tells you exactly how much time you spent on your phone. I got an update this morning. What are yeah. you at? What oh, did you spend on, on screen time within like the last whatever it was? I, okay, I haven't looked, but last week I was averaging four hours a day. I was at six hours. Six hours? Now, okay. now for context, I do social media for yeah, a living. That's true, that's true. So like, I mean, that's that's a justification, but the reality is, it's probably a good quarter of that is just me screwing around. Right. right. Yeah, that's me. And I mean, I spent so much time because uh, they'll tell you what apps you've spent the most time on, and I spent so much time on YouTube. Oh boy. Just watching YouTube, and I'm like, that. Some of it's good because I do mm -hmm. YouTube, and I need to learn from other creators. Totally. But Sometimes you take it a little too far, right? Maybe you don't yeah. actually gotta watch that next, you know, Jake Paul video. Right. <laughs> maybe right, you don't right, have right. to. Maybe actually, you don't have to. Maybe you're all right. Maybe right. your life is better if you didn't watch that PewDiePie video. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's the thing is like assess what you're doing, yeah. right? Because oftentimes we'll say we don't have enough time. Mm -hmm. We have too much to do. Yeah. There's so much going on. But if we actually assess what we're doing, then maybe we can cut out some of that YouTube watching yeah. or yeah. Facebook scrolling. Right? Exactly. Like don't don't just mindlessly consume like a sheep. Uh, yes. Like yeah. you know you have to have an understanding that you are not just called here to just be on this earth to do your seventy years and then just and that's it. Right. Like you've been placed on this earth with a mission. There's a purpose Absolutely. to your life. Yes. And so when we when we recognize that when we understand who we are as children of God that we're on mission. Right. That should determine how we live our life. Right. This doesn't mean Absolutely. that you can't have fun, you can't have no, hobbies, no. not sure. at all, but but it does give you a certain clarity as to what actually matters. Right. If you don't right. have time to seek first the kingdom of God, yeah. you probably aren't juggling things in the right way. Right, right, and that's true. And that's something I always ask my students, I'm like, you know, how much time can you spend on Snapchat yeah. versus how much time you spend in scripture, Yeah. right? And I mean, that's not just them, obviously. I spend, I'm not spending four hours a day in scripture. Yeah, so no, me I, either. Yeah, so my priorities, you know, they're not quite there, and I don't think that God is asking us for that, but how much time are we actually giving to God compared to how much time we're spending wasting? So so one of our, our mutual friends online, Becca from Far Away Distance, she's yeah. another YouTuber, shout out to her. Yeah, check her um, out. I'll something her that she does, I think is like, wow, that's really spiritually mature, and I respect yeah. that. She says, you know, like twice a week, and I don't know what her current practice is, but at least right. back when I had this conversation with her, twice a week, I fast from social media. Oh, wow. Like whatever it was, like Mondays are my no social media day wow. and Thursday, where wow. I'm just, That's awesome. I'm just like clearing out, you know, it's yeah. kind of like, you know, with your computer, you got to restart your computer every once yeah. in a while, refresh like the RAM, like just make sure everything's tip top shape. It's like, that's what I do. And it helps me with my spiritual life. I'm like, dude, that's dope. Like, what would yeah. our lives look like? How would how would it look differently if we we took social media sabbaths? Right. Oh, once yeah. a week. Well, uh, speaking of that, Trey, another mutual friend. I'll link him somewhere too. We're just gonna give all the shout yeah, outs. We're gonna give today, all guys. the shout outs. This is so. actually five Christian YouTubers you should watch. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. So uh, we're we're about at five actually. Yeah, almost so, there. <laughs> so Trey actually just did a 21 day fast. Yeah. From social media. Um, 
I, I, it actually seemed to do a lot of good for him. I was, I've seen him in the, in the groups because as soon as he came back, he started back, posting back, pulse everything. Back. Like, pulse he's all, all over the place now. But yeah, he took that 21 days off and it really seemed to help. And that's something I've really wanted to do is do, you know, do a 21 day fast or do some sort of fast from social media and just see what kind of perspective that gives me. Um, and I'm really considerate, especially after this conversation. I'm, I'm feeling like that maybe. Especially that's what we do. You're you're entering a, like a heavy season. You're telling me you're working seven days a week. I'm right? working seven days a week right now. And yeah. my initial response, like that's not healthy. That's not like. Healthy. And oh, it's I know funny because we were like you picked me up in, in uh, from from the conference that I was speaking yeah. at, and like I think we had been talking for all of two minutes. Right. So like the first yeah. thing I'm like, oh, that's not healthy. That's like, not healthy, oh yeah. no. I'm like, I know, man. But to be fair, son, I, I'm not quite, I, I'm working Sunday technically because I work at a church. I'm running the booth or, so or I think that's definitely work. If you've yeah, ever yeah, worked yeah. in a church, that is, is for sure. That's not work. like work with an asterisk. That's like work with an exclamation mark. Yeah, no, no, it's, it is it is definitely work. But I, I do that, but it's only, I get off, I'm, I'm done with that at 12. So I have the rest of it, but it's 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 not healthy. and It's not sustainable. No. no Hopefully, no. what I'm hoping to do is, is build a savings, right? And, and build up a savings and then I'll go back to a normal routine and I'm, I'm having a flashback, I think, to the video we just recorded. Uh -huh. uh, like, you know, oh, I'm gonna, when life slows down, I'm gonna do this. Right. Right, and then tomorrow never comes. It's, it's interesting because we just finished talking about spiritual burnout. Absolutely. What are the right. habits that lead to spiritual burnout? Yeah. Now I'm gonna push you on this. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna realize that. <laughs> is this habit that you're in right now, is this gonna ultimately lead to something healthy? Right. Like it, it right. can. I'm not I'm not like trying to prophesy doom over you and your right, family yeah, yeah. by any means. But I mean that that ritual, that um that cadence of work six, rest one. Right. It like it's hard to argue with God. Right. Like, that's it is. that it is. is the routine that he created in us. We weren't and I, I love this. That's what makes the Sabbath so beautiful. Right. It, it's that you are not only valued by, in God's eyes by what you yeah. do, by what you create, by what you, 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 you volunteer or how you serve in the church. Part of it is God's just like, hey, listen, just chill out. Like, right. just relax and recognize that I've got this. Right. Here, here's what I've said to people. If you are doing too much that you can't Sabbath, you're right. doing more than what God has called you right. to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because super convicted right now. Because the Sabbath, <laughs> the, right, the Sabbath is actually not a, a suggestion. Right. It's a commandment. Right. It's going all the way back to the Garden of Eden before sin screwed everything up. Right. So even in a perfect world, God wants you to be resting. Right. right. That was still a commandment then. Yeah. Wow. So, so I don't know, man. Maybe. No. Maybe. Okay. Was... All right. All right. <laughs> I get it. This video is taking a weird turn, right? <laughs> this is actually an intervention. This is actually an intervention. Yeah, it's like you and all my subscribers. We're all right, I got you. you. I got you. I mean, but yeah. this is this is so cool that God cares about family. That God yeah, cares dude. about your health. That God cares like so much more than pay your tithe, read your Bible, go serve at the church. Right. Like right. Like, like God actually wants you to be happy. He wants right. you to have a fulfilled life, and part of that is balance. Yeah. And that's, that's how true. you avoid stress. Being stressed out is when things are. You get stress when things are imbalanced in your life, right? And it, and it's okay. Like if you if you're like walking on that that uh, like those cement curbs or whatever the case is, and you're like kind of leaning to one side, like you can right. you can like do that for a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. like that's if that's how you're always walking, like right. you're gonna end up falling over. You're gonna end up getting hurt. Right. Yeah. I think it's the same thing spiritually. Like we got to be careful about that. Like I'm certainly not perfect at this. There are many times where I catch myself on my Sabbath just right. like working, working, working. I'm like what right. am I doing? Yeah. Like, I just got. I'm signing off and I'm just gonna like enjoy time with yeah, the family, go yeah. to the dog park with my puppy, you right, know, those kinds man. of things. I like yeah. do the things that, that are kind of life giving. Right. Absolutely. And I think that's where we'll end the video. Okay. Is <laughs> we went much because, longer than yeah, we thought. Yeah, we did. This is supposed to be five minutes, five minutes ago. Um, <laughs> so absolutely I think and, and this is where I was taking the video anyway, um, less convicting on me than when I started. Um, but it's, Sorry. it's no no I it was it was God. But what I would say is if you're feeling super stressed out, it is to evaluate what you have going on, evaluate what you can cut out, what you have to do, what you actually want to yeah. do, and then do more things that make you smile. Yeah. I mean, do more things that make you laugh, that make you smile, spend time with family, you know, do, do those things and do more of those things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, go check out Justin's channel at That Christian Vlogger. Love to have you over there. Yeah. And uh, go check out the videos we just shot for his channel. Two new videos featuring Two this videos. guy. Yes. So be sure to check them out. All right, guys, I will catch you next week. Keep living that bold life.